Good morning, guys. It's 6.30 again, and Riley is awake. She actually woke up at about 6 o'clock, and um, I pretty much rustled with her in bed for about half an hour trying to keep her asleep, and it just wasn't happening. But um, she did actually get... Um, that's about eight hours of sleep that she had because she once again woke up in the middle of the night. So she went down at nine o'clock and woke up at about three. And then we went back into bed by four. She was asleep again. And like I said, she woke up at about six. So she has had about eight hours. So that's not bad at all. Um, although she never used, like, in the past, she used to always, like, sleep through the night and then wake up when she was up. Now she has this, like, habit where she's kind of been waking up for about anywhere from half an hour to an hour, like, in the middle of it after she's had about six hours. Um, she never used to do that. Ugh, it drives me nuts because, like, I mean, it's not the worst because, like, six hours is still a good stretch, but... You know, getting up out of bed at like 3 or 4 in the morning, which is when she tends to do it. That's not fun. I don't care how many hours of sleep I've had. It's just the fact that it's 3 or 4 in the morning. Like, if I had 6 hours of sleep and she went to bed at 12 and it was 6 o'clock, I'd probably be okay. But I'm going to get her dressed now. I'm going to get myself dressed. That's it. See you guys later. Bye. Once again, I've got my baby, my breakfast. I'm probably not going to eat all of this. I'm just going to eat as much as I want. I've got my cup of tea and I've got my laundry. How cute is she today? Look at these socks. They're like coral with like orange and light blue leopard print. I love that. I'm not a huge fan of um, regular leopard print. I do like it. It's just like, I don't know, the colorway. I'm not a huge fan of because I don't wear a lot of browns personally, but um, I just think this is adorable. I love that it's like really like mismatched and to me that just makes it look perfect. And my little girl's a lamb today. Can you go ba ba lamb, sheep? I don't know. There's lots of sheep in England. <laughs> so I'm going to sort through this laundry while I talk to you guys. I like to kind of sort it as to like how I hang it because I'm actually kind of anal about that. But anyway, um, I don't know if you guys would have noticed or wondered, but I keep waking up without my husband next to me. So maybe y'all think that I'm making him up and he doesn't exist. Although he did show up for a second in yesterday's vlog, but I mean, for the amount of time that he's in there, you might just think he was a person I hired to be in the video as a stand-in. No. <laughs> uh, I keep waking up by myself because basically he is a postman, so he wakes up very early in the morning to go to work. Um, Today is Sunday, so he did not go to work today, but we were still alone because, exciting, exciting, he had to wake up really early to go drive down and pick up something that he won off of eBay um, because it's down in um, Bristol, and that is about, I want to say he thinks it's about a three-hour drive from where we are. I might be wrong, but, um, and the guy he's picking it up from is wasn't sure if he was going to be around later in the day my husband just preferred to pick it up really early anyway since he's used to waking up really and then that wouldn't interfere with um the rest of our day together so i'm not going to say what it is because it's a surprise it's not a surprise for me i know what it is but um you'll see probably like in just like 30 seconds or something what it is it depends on how much footage i film in between now and when he comes home but i probably won't get too much in um, but it is something that will hopefully help me magically shift some of this baby weight away. I have no problem, um, well, I don't want to say no problem with my body right now, but it's not the body that I used to have, 
and I'm very grateful for this body. This body um, birthed my beautiful daughter and I will always be forever thankful for it and love it um, somewhat unconditionally. But loving it actually means keeping it healthy and keeping it fit. So I do want to shift the pounds, of course. Um, and it's not all, you know, it's really easy to make it sound like I'm only doing it because I love my body and I'm being good to myself, but it is also selfishly, you know, like I want to look good. Um, and you know, I don't think I look my best right now. Um, very lucky, very blessed to have a husband that compliments me regardless and acts as if he doesn't even notice, which is the only acceptable thing for him to do. So, um, I just realized I'm not even sorting my laundry. I'm throwing it all in one spot, which is not what I normally do. This is what happens when I try to do something different to the mix because, you know, the concentrating is not my forte, clearly. Let me organize this correctly before I, like, drive myself nuts. This is, like, something that if my husband did it this way, I would go crazy. So, anyway, um... Yeah, I want to shift my weight, I want to look good, I want to feel good, and I want to be fit and healthy again, and, you know, I want to honor this body that gave me this beautiful baby, um, yeah, so I'm excited, and you'll see what he's picked up to help with that journey in a little bit, and we're really excited because basically this is what we used to always go to the gym to do, and, um, because he bought it off of eBay, um, it's used obviously secondhand. Um, so obviously hoping he is checking it out and making sure that it's okay before he pays for it, of course, because he's not gonna get it if it's, you know, not as it was. Uh, are you whining? He's not gonna get it if it's not as it was advertised, um, which is in full working order, good condition. Um, but this is what we used to go to the gym to use. And honestly, like a year's gym membership pays for it so and this way we're getting it for like way less than it costs normally and if we figure out that we're not really using it in another year or so we could still sell it when you're buying something used off of ebay the resale value tends to still be around what you paid for it so you know if in another year we're like oh it's kind of collecting dust we're not really using it let's just sell it we could sell it and pretty much not have, you know, most likely, like, you know, there might be a little gain, there might be a little loss, but generally it'll just be that we were using it for free for a year. Um, hopefully we won't be selling it in a year because hopefully we'll be using it and I'll be looking absolutely fabulous um, just in time to have another baby, right? I mean, you do all this stuff to shift the weight and then you get pregnant again and you blow up again and that's totally fine. Um, I mean, if I didn't lose the weight before I got pregnant again, I'd probably get even bigger after my next pregnancy, and then I probably really would be quite upset. But anyway, that's my spiel. That was a long chitty chat, but we all know I'm really good at that. So I'll see you guys later, and I'm going to finish hanging my laundry. Well, I'm going to start hanging it. I haven't hung any of it, but you get what I'm saying. I just got this jumper today, and I had to share it with you guys because... It's gray, and it's beige, and it has a wonderful message on it. It's everything you could ever want in one piece of clothing. It's perfect. I love it. We're out for a nice family walk. It's a bit cold today, but she really likes going for walks. She was fussing before we left the house, and now she's quite happy. So, walking it is. Yay! Fresh air, Mama! Fresh air! <laughs> Hi, kitty! Uh, not the cat, but on camera. Hello! He's always picking up stray cats. They always go right up to him. Yeah, kitty cats love you. They're never afraid. It's a bit ironic because you're the postman. The dogs don't like it, but the kitty cats do. This is exactly what I love about England so much. We left our house like two or three minutes ago and we are already in this beautiful little countryside well farmland but no farmland is really private in this country as long as there is a gate you are allowed to pass through so yeah i love this place told you guys there's a lot of sheep in england i didn't even know they were there we just found that out today 
And then, if I turn around this way, you show them. It's that one just there. It's your what? Allotment. What's an allotment? Uh, a piece of land that you can rent from the local council slash government for peanuts. It's like a victory garden. Yeah. Well, because really? Americans yeah. wouldn't really know. Because I don't, well, you guys tell me, are there allotments in America? Because I ain't no. never heard of them until I came here. Yeah. Here is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment that will hopefully get Mama back into shape. Watt bike. This is what we used to use at the gym, and it is the best, absolute best stationary bicycle, spinning, it's not even a spinning bicycle, no. It's just a stationary bicycle. It's the best you can get. Love it. Hey guys, so I am ready for bed again. I've once again got my cup of tea and I am running Riley's bath. So once again, after this, I have no idea what is gonna happen and I thought I better say goodnight. And if I can say something else later, then I will say goodnight then and I will not put this clip in and I'll put that clip in. But most likely this will probably be the end of the vlog. So good night everybody, I hope you enjoyed and I'm sure I'll enjoy when I watch these back. Bye.